Hey y'all, my name is Kristen Lagan and welcome back to UXUI Advocate. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks. I think my last YouTube video was like three, four weeks ago, I think at this point. Um, I've been MIA for a little while, but for good reason. Um, I just recently finished a one of my first projects with my group, like my large group. Um, we were designing a mobile app that we like conceptually wanted to focus on reducing anxiety for users and so we were given three weeks to do everything we've learned over the last like month and some change um, on a team of six and so all of my time all of my weekends have been dedicated towards working on that project with my five other teammates um, excuse me, alongside me finishing my own personal project, um, the mobile app that I designed and then changed and then iterated and then did more interviewing and didn't like it, scrapped it, changed it. Um, so even though I have so much anxiety myself, I probably need to use the app that we developed as a group. I wanted to show um, my app, my mobile travel app that I created. It's called Triplicity. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna put it out on the internet, on YouTube. Uh, my goodness. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Um, so I think I want this YouTube video to be kind of like a case study-ish type of thing. I'm not gonna put it on my portfolio. Um, I'll keep it on YouTube. But I wanted to show the two or three people that look at my YouTube videos, I wanted to show what I created so far. I completely forgot to add this, but I wanted to give a little backstory on the term triplicity, so a definition. Um, according to good old Google, it is a astrological term that means, um, it's the idea that there's three different signs that make a particular element. And so with that concept in mind, I wanted to run with it when creating triplicity. Um, and provide users with three key features that they can focus on throughout their trip planning process as well as actually going on their trip. Um, so yes, that's the backstory of Triplicity, the name behind it, um, and why I focused on that like triple, the uh, three key features um, that you'll see during the walkthrough. I appreciate all constructive criticism. Please bear in mind that I don't really know what I'm doing still. It's only been like two-ish months. Um, but yeah, I would love the love critiques so I can iterate some more, change some things, tweak some things to make it um, an app that looks aesthetically pleasing for the information that I currently have. Um, so yes, without further ado, here is Triplicity. Okay, so we are going to show Triplicity. Um, we are going to first create an account using our Google credentials. They're going to auto-populate for us because that's the ease of Google. Um, and we're going to be successfully welcomed into Triplicity and we're going to allow notifications. I'll go into more detail. We first have the onboarding pages that show us the features that are offered as well as the progress going through onboarding. Our first task is going to create a trip. Um, so we're going to first select our destination. We're going to click on that tab. Um, we've decided we're going to go to Madrid, Spain. We also have to tell the app when we're going to leave. Um, throughout a particular time frame, it lets us know that time frame. We also have to show the app or tell the app what our budget is. So our budget's going to be seven thousand dollars, and we are going to let the app know that we're going to go to those particular places. Um, we also want to tell the app where we're going to be located, like hotel-wise. So we're going to put in all of the hotel information from the name to the address to the phone number as well as the country's embassy's phone number, um, the location, and the address of the embassy. That was one of the features that a user really wanted to have. And those are the three features that haven't been built out yet but eventually will be. We're going to go back to the home page and we're going to try to take a picture of our passport, allowing Triplicity to use our camera. Theoretically we have our passport, we've taken a picture. And these two features are going to be built out eventually as well through iteration. Um, our last feature or set of features is a bucket list. 
allowing us to type in places that we want to see in the future, as well as documenting any notes that we have um, that we need to accomplish before, during, and after our trip. Um, and then we also allow users to use an account. Um, they can put in their home country. We're going to put in the United States. And then we also have a settings option that allows for the user to see push notifications. And we're going to, I'll explain more about push notifications in a little bit. Um, I'm going to log in through Apple Next just to see what that interface looks like. Once again, just kind of a standard Apple login. Then we have a notification section that talks about all the different mask mandates, restrictions, vaccine restrictions that we have. And finally, going back to our settings, we have our account information as well as any emergency contacts that we want to list within the app. I'm going to go through this quick section to put myself in as an emergency contact, my phone number, who I am to the user, as well as my address. Um, just for easy access for the user with that indicator green button and that ladies and gentlemen is triplicity um i know it's super fast but i have triplicity on my um, portfolio so you can look at it a little bit more if you'd like to um this this final route just allows users to log in using their email and password if they don't have a google facebook or um apple account um, first name, last name, and their phone number can be put into the system. And then they'll get a um, PIN number from the email that they put in. And then once again, same, they're welcome into the Triplicity family, and then they get the splash screen with the onboard, or the, the landing page with the onboarding stuff. Um, but yes, that's Triplicity. Thanks, y'all.